Hey everybody, it's Ian the Off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. I am so happy that 2020 is finally over and we are into 2021. Sorry I haven't been around lately. If you haven't catched the explanation as to why I haven't been around, go ahead and check out the iCards. I'll link to the live video that I did where I kind of explained that I moved and things are different because I moved and it's been a process, but I'm so glad that I'm finally able to get back in my groove and start creating again. And in fact, I created this card using the Pantone colors. Yes, I said colors. There are two colors of the year for 2021. Now, if you've never heard of the color of the year from Pantone, basically Pantone picks the color, or in this case, colors, that it thinks will be most prevalent in that coming year. And this year it is illuminating, which is a yellow, and an ultimate gray, which I think is a rather strange combination. However, I think it works really well on today's card. So let's go ahead and see how I put it together. Today, I'm gonna to use these supplies. I have some cardstock that is similar to the ultimate gray. I have a My Favorite Things stamp set, which is main squeeze, and I'm gonna be using two my main squeeze today. I think that's really cute. And then I have a Copic yellow marker that I'm going to use since it's close to the yellow of the color of the year. I'm going to use my Tim Holtz stamp positioner to go ahead and put my stamps onto some 60 pound recollections paper. Nothing too special here. Same thing I've been doing forever. And I'm of course using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink because it is Copic friendly. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that down. And then I'm gonna use a yellow Copic marker. This is Y15. And I'm just gonna go ahead and color in my lemons. I don't have more than one yellow Copic, so it's all just gonna be one color. I tried to like match the roundness of the lemon, and I don't know if it's very successful, but you know, it's what I have. It's what I have to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So after I color everything in, I'm gonna go ahead and use the die cuts to go, the coordinating die cuts, I should say, to go ahead and cut everything out. I also used a rectangle die from Simon Says Stamp to go ahead, the stitched rectangle die, to go ahead and cut out that ultimate gray. And I do have a piece of Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock to uh, be the card base. And that's what I've been using forever. And I normally do top folding cards, but today, I decided since I ran across this one that was already side folding, I'll just run with it and use whatever I have. Now I've gone ahead and glued down the gray cardstock and now I'm laying out the lemons where I think they should go and using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink again to stamp on to my main squeeze. And I kind of positioned everything. I haven't glued down the lemons yet because I really wanted to make sure I knew where the sentiment was gonna go before I taped everything down. And then I use some regular tape for the full lemon and then some foam tape for the lemon half to kind of pop it up and give it a little more dimension. Super easy, but I think it really matches and fits in well with the Pantone color of the year for 2021. Thanks for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm making it my goal in 2021 to hit 100,000 subscribers but I need your help to make that happen. Take a moment and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then don't forget to check out the other great videos that I have here on my channel. Also, share this video with your friends and tell them to come check out the Off-Kilter Crafter.